Okay, it is Thursday, February 25th, 2021. The time is 10.53 p.m. First time using my iPod Touch in a long time to film with, which is super freaking weird to say. Okay. Because uh, the retina display got busted on my fucking iPhone 6S Plus, which... I found out today it is worth more than the phone is, sorry, now, worth more than to replace the screen on it. I'm just doing a quick one. I'm not going to do the whole nine yards because I didn't wear any makeup today. I'm, I just stepped out of the rinse off. I had to go look for something downstairs. That's personal. I am sweating in this bathrobe. It has been very warm here for the winter time. Which is highly unusual, so that means that we're probably going to have a pretty fucked up storm season. One thing I noticed about this little iPod, though, is that it gets really hot when it uh, stays on for very long. So hopefully, knock on wood, I'll be able to save up enough money to either get a new phone or replace the retina display on my old one that's in the drawer over there. Or um, I might do something else with it, like sell it for parts or something, I don't know. I know you're probably thinking, why would you sell it for parts when you can get it fixed? The people around here want $150 to resell it, or refurbish the screen on it. I could resell it for that price just for parts alone, because people will buy them for parts. The screen, it lo the screen itself is not cracked, is what I'm trying to say. It's just the retina display is busted. It's 89 for the retina display, so if I were to just buy the retina display alone and do it myself, if I knew how, without fucking it up, it would be just $89. 99 cents. So $90. We'll say $90. But it's not, and I don't know how, and I'm not going to learn that stuff because I am not... I'm just too afraid of breaking it more because, you know, it's got my stuff on it. It keeps locking itself up, so hopefully it just locks itself up fully until I can figure out what to do. Even if that means hooking it up to my computer and completely factory wiping it from iTunes. Okay, so we're going to do a quick one, like I said. I'm just going to do one micellar water instead of two tonight. I know the audio on this probably sounds like complete shit right now, so I'm sorry. I will have to start hooking the um, microphone up because this microphone in here is a little crappy compared to the other device, but I don't really feel comfortable bringing my phone over here at this moment. This is a um, cheaper made device than my phone is, so yeah. Mix stripped off micellar water just to uh, get the excess grime and soap off of my face from today because my face I don't think I rinsed it all the way off in the shower by some miracle but it ain't nothing a little micellar water can't fix and I didn't wear makeup today so I'm not going to use my other one I was going to screw up and say my good one by accident so I'm glad I didn't okay My sister got a brand of makeup to try that she's going to lend to me, too, to try. And I'm like, I never even heard of the brand. I didn't even read the box long enough to learn how to pronounce it. So, I don't know what it's called right off the top of my head. But I will show you here in a second, because I'm just doing my uh, face lotion after this. This little fucking iPod holds a lot of video, knock on wood. It didn't used to, but I also had like 50, 20 minute long videos on here. Probably about not even exaggerating. And there's a bunch of apps on here that I didn't actually need to keep. Clean it behind my ears to make sure I got all the crud off of them. 
and uh, cleaning my ear lobes too because I just feel like cleaning my ear lobes, okay? And then I'm going to do my neck with a separate um, cotton round. I don't, I didn't wear makeup today because today was the day after the accident. And, uh, sorry, I know what this looks like. I just didn't feel like doing my whole face today. I was, I knew at some point I would break down and cry because I thought, okay, my mom was going to be really pissed that I accidentally broke a phone. Hold on, I have to spit. I know that's super gross to s say, someone, hold on, I had to spit. It's not like I showed you, okay? You know, this a little because uh, I have to get my neck a little more displayed here. I know that's gross to, like, think, like, you're unzipping yourself? No. I just mean, like, a little. Literally. You literally just seen it. I'm not that kind of person. I'm the kind of person that likes to keep the clothes on on my videos. And I don't like to show too much. Unless it's, like, summertime, then, you know, you'll see a little bit of something. I'll honestly admit that. But I'm not the kind of girl that does that for anything else. Okay. Alright, here we go. Ooh, shit, that missed the trash can. The hell was that? That sounded like the chair. It's probably when I scooted a little bit. Yeah. I need to clean this off so it doesn't start eating through it. I know that looks really weird me doing that. But these are brand new and I don't want them to be damaged. And I didn't want to lose them so I put them over here by the stuff that I use them with at night. I need to clean out my ears again real quick. I know it's like I have cotton rounds and uh, stuff like that to waste but I actually do not. This video is not necessarily in proportion, but you know what? I don't really care right now. Tonight is the night that I say fuck it about that phone. I might talk about it like, okay, I'm mad that it happened, that it broke after so many years of having it. I need one more fucking Q-tip, of course. But, you know... I also know at the same time, okay, life happens, move on. Do I need one more? Yes, I do. It's not that I want to waste these Q-tips, it's that my ears are start itching if I don't, and it would drive me insane. Ugh. I know I look really weird, but you know what, I don't really care, okay? My, my voice sounds really weird. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is put on some face lotion. I don't have very much of my face lotion that I use left by Clinique, the dramatically different moisturizing gel. This is supposed to be the oil control gel for the T-zone here. So I discovered a trick here. Where's it at? My stepmom gave me this, like a dummy. Didn't know that you could expand your lotion with it. Okay, so I put four pumps on. If you don't know what this is, this is the Clinique ID Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly, which I don't need to hydrate my face. Of course I would fall on the floor right now. I will get it here in a minute. Okay, so, okay, you see it's dripped down my finger a little. You can't really see it because it's clear. You take just a little dab of your favorite face lotion. I don't even think it has to be Clinique. It says right on the back. It doesn't have to be. Or right in the description. And you just rub it all over your face. It just basically is a lotion for your lotion. I like this lotion a lot because it helps mattify my face for makeup. 
application so that I can sleep tonight or any night and not worry about my face being super oily on the pillow you know all that stuff okay so yeah Okay, let me pick that up real quick. There we go. Cotton rounds fell. I need to find a place to put them so they don't fall again. Let me put this back up so I don't lose it. They could literally sit right there if they would just stay. This just needs to be ooh, thrown in the trash. Oh, that's not, not the old one, that's the new one. Duh. Okay. It's not the new one, new one. That's actually for dry skin people, by the way. I need to spray on some deodorant, because I, if I don't, I will reek. Especially since it got up to 70 here a few days ago, and I didn't, I didn't know that. It was going to be 70, or I would not have wore wintertime clothes, but I'm actually glad I did, because I probably would have got sick. I'm unzipping again, just a little bit, not to show anything off or anything like that, but to spray on my Axe deodorant. Okay, the Axe Apollo Sage and Cedarwood scent, 48 hour high definition scent, don't mask odor, stop it, is what my favorite one is. I have another one behind the camera, but it's not as good as this one because it's an older one. So I think from last year. I think if something like a product like that goes bad after a year, I think that means it's time to replace it. So yeah, let me show you here. The original one and the new one. To see? I also have this one right here I like too, but this one's about empty. By Nivea, the Fresh Fruity 0% Aluminum. But yeah, so I'm going to get some clothes on. I just put on something comfortable. It is no time. I'm the only one awake. It does not look like I have any pants in here other than my red one. Red ones. Which means I probably do need to go through a load of clothes in the washer before the night is over. Actually, I think I will because... My red ones being my only clean ones are a problem. I think this is a shirt. It looks like a nightgown, but it was my sister's, so it's a shirt on me. <laughs> She's about six inches shorter than me, so what is big on her is her big, big on her is small on me. I think before I sit down, I am going to go ahead and go put some clothes in the wash because I do want to have some fresh pants for the rest of the week. It ain't going to hurt nobody if I do that real quick. Let me cut it up here. And the washer will be done in an hour and I can have it done before the end of the night. Let me grab something new over here. Okay, I need a basket. I'm going to even put this robe in the wash because it does need wash. It doesn't reek, it just needs wash. It's that feeling of okay. I know it needs washed, and of course I'm trying to get out of the body because I'm being a dick. I hate my ex wash right now.
Why do I get the feeling it signed me out completely, like my controller and everything? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to damn do the shit. No, I didn't. Let me go to YouTube's website real quick. I'll put on this shirt first. This is a damn nightgown. This is really... Actually, I could just wear this for the rest of the night. I still need to wash my pants, though, because if I don't, I won't have any clean ones. Okay. Save to look again. Okay, let me try this again. YouTube. Tube. Dot com. Com. Slash. Slash. Activate. I didn't say that. It must be activate. Like a dick. You get the. Okay, enter code. Is ready? Okay. Okay. Thanks. Dash Q M Z Y. Hurry up. This is not really my first video using this iPod, it's just the first one, like, in a while, using it. Yes, it worked. Okay, good. Okay. Well, we're at 17 minutes and it's still going. Now... I'm going to, uh, run all my dirty clothes to the laundry room. It looks like I have quite a bit, but I'm not going to, uh, do a lot of them tonight. I'm just going to get one load done so I have a clean pair of pants for tomorrow. They eat PB&J every night, and it always, always gets dirty. My clothes dirty. Especially red pants. So maybe I shouldn't wear these. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm not taking them off. Okay. So I got two things right here. My bathroom. This is not going in the washer. Because this is not washer safe. That I know of. Just kidding. I already know it wasn't. I already lost one phone. I don't need to lose two. And, uh... I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to put you in my pocket for a second. So I can take it clothes and put them in a basket. One of my favorite ACDC shirts was shot in the dark. One from uh, the new Power Up album. This one, this shirt I did not see for like a month and it probably does not really wash. This pair of pants. Okay, my dad gets mad. He can F off. He's been in super thick head mode today. You shouldn't say that to your parents, but you know what? You guys have never met my parents, so it's tomato, tomato there. Okay, clean stuff, dirty stuff. This is mostly dirty. Do I know where my pants are at? Because I only see shirts here. And some other stuff that shouldn't even be in the dirty clothes pile. Hi, kitty. Sorry. I didn't even realize you were there. Sweetie pie. See some under stuff. A pair of socks. A towel. Some of this stuff might be dirty up here. Should I get any pairs of pants? At least one pair so I can have a clean pair for tomorrow. Something? Did I not put them away? 
Yeah, I don't care about that shirt. Or this one. I'm looking to make sure that I didn't accidentally stuff dirty pants into a clean basket. Looks like I stuffed a dirty metallic shirt in there. So this, this, and this. This and this. That's not the same one. And I'll go to the laundry room for the night. Yeah, it looks like I got everything. Let me look on that bed because I think I left some on there yesterday. Sorry, kitty. Big bear. I left a pair as well. Sleeping pants on the bed. A shirt. go with my aunt somewhere, and uh, I'm not trying to be mean when I say this really at all. She smokes, and her truck smells like smoke. Okay. Tying a pair of pants together. Except for the stairs, they're creaky, squeaky, whatever you call it. So, give me one minute to start talking again. I'm just gonna dump them in the wash and then be done. The hard part is you know, like sussing the water has literally been soaking for a week. I can actually, 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 access it partially. Okay, so. Okay. Wow, still going. Okay, so we're going to put it on deep fill, heavy on cold, okay. So we're going to press on. We're gonna do this real quick. I'll show you the products I use. Okay, so, <laughs> downy ball. I'm using my last two OxyClean pods too because this is literally a waste of space right here. I think there's two, maybe three in here. Two. <coughs> Trash cans over here, dummy. Dumb me. Some of these lovely smelling Purex crystals. Um, actually, they surprisingly do smell really good. I'm gonna add a little bit more in after the clothes go in. Suavidel Soothing Lavender. This is the Stain Shield Technology one. Some in the downy ball here. A little bit extra, but it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Downy ball in washer. And then a little extra in the cap to soften the clothes for real. And I gotta, I'm sure I gotta fold some clothes out of the dryer because my family's too lazy to check the dryer on their own. I'm gonna throw that towel in that I accidentally just got some on. But there we go. No big deal. Mm, I love the smell of lavender. Now, these go in. 
I'm not gonna throw this towel in because uh, I don't really care about that. Here we go. <laughs> Doing that makes it full really fast. Okay, I got one more step to do. Here we go. Okay. Washer's overloaded, but it's okay. Ain't gonna hurt shit. Let me check the dryer. Hey, it's empty. I'm actually shocked. <laughs> Somebody actually got their own shit out of the dryer. Switching it back to auto. Hold on a moment. I'm going to clean the lint trap out though because that's another thing they don't do. As I was right. Oh shit. I know what I was going to do with the washer. more of those crystals I like. These are only $3 a bottle or $4. They smell really good. I washed my bed set in these about three weeks ago and they still smell really good. Okay, here we go. This is what I'll be using next. My other favorite detergent is Gain. This is the Blissful Breeze scent. I like the Moonlight Breeze as well. And uh, I'm adding two of the Great Value Blooming Lavender sheets to the dryer so that I don't have to do that when it's time to stick these babies in the dryer in like an hour. That's what's ready for when they're done out of the dryer. And the heat is on, signal sign is off, and I'm busy throwing away that's my sheet for that. Listen to this, this sounds like shit. Hold on a minute here. One, two, three, come on baby. Okay, so we're gonna switch it to bulky bedding, put it back on deep fill. That doesn't sound good. It doesn't normally sound like that. That's actually a little nerve wracking. Oh, it was agitating there. I hope there's not something stuck under the agitator. So we're going to stick it back on heavy. And then switch it back to auto again, because... You know, that's what I do. Here in that water makes me have to go to the bathroom now. Again, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm hungry. Really hungry. I forgot to add my shoes to that wash. But I overloaded it as it was, so it's fine. And I got more to wash, so I'll do it tomorrow. Wow. Still going at 30 minutes. Can't believe it.
All right. It's 11.23 p.m. I'm going to try and find the case for this because I do not know where it is. And I want to protect this as long as I can. I know I got one. I just don't know where I put it. It's in one of these drawers is all I know. So, let's give them peace of mind that it ain't far. Sorry about the breathiness, by the way. If you guys don't like it, I don't care what you think, really. Okay. Let me look over here before I cut you guys off. Okay. Sorry about the fan. If you don't like it, whatever. Nope. I see this. A lot of good that does me now. Is it shit? Hey. No, that's not it. It's not what I thought it was. Yep, that is fucked up. Right, I'm gonna look in the bottom drawer. Got my iPad case. You would think I would have the case for this somewhere, or one of the cases, because there's two or three of them. This looks like office supplies. I'm looking in the very bottom drawer. Do I see one? Or am I just seeing things, hoping that I see one soon? Okay. Don't see one. Alright, so there's only two other places in this room the cases would be. One's in the middle couch console. One's in the closet. So I'm going to look in the closet real quick. It's 11.26pm. I will let you know when I find it. Alright, peace. Bye.